In League of Legends, Kog'Ma is a champion whose abilities benefit from both ability power and attack damage. On today's episode of Law Math, we'll be taking a look at which stat can be more beneficial on Kog'Ma depending on the situation. Let's take a look at Kog'Ma's abilities now. Kog'Ma's passive ability, Akathian Surprise, does not scale with attack damage or ability power, so we won't be taking it into account. Caustic Spittle has a cooldown of 8 seconds and costs 60 mana. It will passively grant Kog'Ma attack speed equal to 5% plus the ability's current level times 5%. When cast, it will deal magic damage to a target within 625 units equal to 10 plus the ability's current level times 50 plus Kog'Maw's ability power times 0.7. It will also reduce the target's armor and magic resistance by the ability's current level times 5 for 4 seconds. Bio Arcane Barrage has a cooldown of 17 seconds and will cost 50 mana. When cast, Kog'Maw will be granted bonus range equal to 110 plus the ability's current level times 20. His auto attacks will also deal magic damage equal to the target's maximum health times 0.01 plus the ability's current level times 0.01 plus Kog'Maw's ability power times 0.0001. Both of these effects will last 8 seconds after the ability is cast. Void Ooze has a cooldown of 12 seconds and costs mana equal to 70 plus the ability's current level times 10. When cast, Kog'Maw will deal magic damage in a line equal to 10 plus the ability's current level times 50 plus Kog'Maw's ability power times 0.7. It will also leave an area for 4 seconds which will slow any units on it for 12% plus the ability's current level times 8%. Kog'Maw's ultimate ability, Living Artillery, has a cooldown equal to 2.5 minus the ability's current level times 0.5. It will also cost 40 mana. When cast, Kog'Maw will fire a projectile which will land in 0.6 seconds. The projectile has a range of a 1100 units plus the ability's current level times 300 units. The magic damage from the projectile will be equal to 40 plus the ability's current level times 40 plus Kog'Maw's ability power times 0.3 plus Kog'Maw's bonus attack damage times 0.5. If the target hit is a champion, the base magic damage will be multiplied by 2.25. If Kog'Maw casts this ability within 6 seconds of it previously being cast, it will cost an additional 40 mana, up to a maximum of 400. Now that we've gone over Kog'Maw's abilities, let's take a look at how much ability power and attack damage can benefit him. To keep things simple, in these tests we'll assume Kog'Maw's level 18. One point of attack damage will make Kog'Maw deal an extra 1.5 damage from his auto attack and abilities. One point of ability power will make Kog'Maw deal an extra 1.9 damage from his abilities, if the target is 2000 health. Since Kog'Maw's attack speed at level 18 will be 1.16, one point of attack damage will make him deal an extra 1.66 damage per second from his auto attack and abilities. For the ability power damage per second test, we'll assume Bioarcane Barrage is active. One point of ability power will make Kog'Maw deal an extra 0.65 damage per second, still assuming the target is 2000 health. Ability power will grant more more damage per second than attack damage if the target has 12,100 health and Bio Arcane Barrage is active. From these values, one can easily see that attack damage grants more damage per second than ability power. However, we should still take into account how much damage per gold ability power and attack damage grant. At the basic level, one point of attack damage costs 40 gold and one point of ability power costs 21.75 gold. Based on our previous damage tests, one can see that ability power will grant 0.05 more damage per gold than attack damage, assuming the target is 2,000 health. Overall, if one wants to deal slightly more damage and benefit from more damage per gold is Kog'Ma, they should buy items with ability power. However, if one wants to deal more damage per second, they should build attack damage on Kog'Ma. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous Law Math episode. You can also like Law Math on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and join the community on Reddit. Thanks for watching this episode of Law Math.